Hey guys, you're in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video I want to show you how you can engrave almost on any metallic surfaces with dry molly spray. I want to say thank you Florian and Graham I'm from Australia who initially showed wonderful video but uh, now it's our uh, it's our time to show you uh, the experiment. Uh, now we use uh, gloves, we send uh, gloves to all our customers since October and we are going to engrave on uh, steel so we already covered it and it took like uh, 30 minutes to make sure that it's dry now we made uh, some um, experiments uh, before now we will engrave it here so we use a Nelix Maker DIY engraving machine and Bandbox software the initial speed we are going to use is 100 and 150 so uh, let's make sure that we are in perfect focus okay I need to take care of you guys while uh, while making making this so uh, okay I'm going to focus it okay yeah I prefer I started with red goggles now I'm going to use green it's a bit easier and better okay so we use G2 lens here okay okay I think we're all set uh, focus is ready uh, probably will add better zoom so you can guys see some details um, okay and we're starting with a speed of 100 okay and let's make a small uh, circle also you can see we have filter so dot is very very tiny Okay, and 100 is done and 150. Okay, let's make another another pass. Uh, another circle actually. It's just only one repeat, so you don't need to to repeat. So as you can see here, I'm not sure that you can see, however, um, now oh, okay now you can see it okay so uh, yeah later on I'm going to remove uh, the spray and show you what we got actually I can do it now so we need an alcohol um, pure alcohol and a piece of um, of material Okay, I'm going to show you. Okay, best zoom. Probably like this. Okay, and let's remove remove the spray. Okay. So many times we we've written the endurance. So okay. So you can see very very tiny spot and I, I'm not sure about the angle because you need to it's pretty hard to to show it but uh, looks good I mean I, I removed spray and we have it here and you cannot remove it so steel is working okay what we're gonna do next is stainless steel we did it before uh, and now I want to show you live so we already uh, covered it I need to put it here make sure that I'm in focus once again low light okay, okay looks good uh, speed is 100 as well you can actually experiment with different speed parameters okay and let's start okay can you guys see everything well enough I think so okay first circle and a speed uh, 150 the one 
Okay. So this is a shining uh, stainless steel part. Okay. So we can see it here. Pretty good. Okay, let's remove. Let's remove. Okay. Looks good as well. It's pretty hard actually to to show you. Okay. So everything's blinking, but uh, yeah, you can see it over here. Actually, I'm using maximum zoom and I hope that you you can see it somehow but this this actually looks better the same experiment okay what we're gonna do next maybe maybe copper or aluminum let's make aluminum so this is aluminum piece also so this looks like uh, from the opposite side just not very shining but uh, aluminum and here we also covered it with spray and let's repeat the experiment once again focusing 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 if you're not in focus guys you probably will have no luck of cutting or engraving so this is the nuance of laser engraving and laser process remain in focus and you'll have the best result and probably G2 lens is the best suit because it has smaller spot at the the speed is 100. Okay, and 150. And another circle. Yeah, it's everything is so, so bright. Okay, we do it pretty quickly okay uh, you see the result okay let's remove it and see what we got oops looks I removed everything Oh, it's quite quite aggressive because I th I think it's even more polished now than was before. Okay, no luck. Let's make another attempt and maybe let's uh, put a speed something like uh, 50 then. Let me check uh, the focus. I just don't want to mess up again. Okay. Okay, now I'm in. Okay, let's do the speed 50. Okay, ready. Okay, I think it's also possible to see we are red filter. The speed is very, it's less, it's only 50. Okay, and let me make another attempt and to use a speed 25, just to make sure that everything will work. Okay, next round. So probably I won't show you um, copper, just to save some of your time, so I did it already before. Uh, so you can see it, it's actually a copperized plate, so the same procedure, the speed is 100 and 150. So just want to save some of your time, 
and yes let's see what we got with aluminum we have here with a filter okay goes pretty good maybe i need to um to uh, to add some alcohol on a felt so we get alcohol here okay let's remove it okay now you can see it looks uh better now okay, we'll see what what we get when we okay probably you don't need to polish it too aggressively right so just make sure and then just use water still water or sparkling water i don't know you can use any water you like Maybe sparkling to drink and still to 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 clean it up but now you can see that it didn't remove so the speed is probably like 50 or uh, 25 is much better for engraving on aluminum so hope guys that you like this video I'm really happy that finally I made it this video showing how you may engrave on uh, aluminum steel uh, stainless steel and I showed you a bit of copper experiments so that you actually can engrave with uh, with dry molly spray by Rockall and endurance 10 watt laser hope that you guys like this video please share it with your friends and have a wonderful laser engraving if you have any questions let me know gf at endurance or plus seven nine one six two two five four three zero two and visit our website endurancelasers.com and our store endurance-lasers.com. Bye-bye.